Hi everybody and welcome back to Gardens and Crystals with me Wesley Peterson and today I'm going to be repotting this big pot with a beautiful plant. So what am I going to be putting into this pot? I'm going to show you. This pot is so big that I don't actually have an inner plastic pot to put inside. So I'm just going to be putting the soil straight into this pot and mixing it with perlite as I always do. Potting soil, a good quality potting soil with perlite to aerate it and then the plants are going to go in here. Even though the plants that are going in here like to dry out, that's fine. I won't overwater this. I'll water it and then I'll let it dry out and I'll water it and I'll let it dry out and water it. And soon I will be getting a moisture gauge. So if I have a pot like this that doesn't have holes in the bottom, not going to be a problem. I'll be able to test by putting the probe in and I'll know how much moisture is in the soil before I water it again. But until then, we're just going to do it the good old fashioned way. Check it out. So, this is a Schefflera arboricola, a variegated Schefflera arboricola. Isn't it wonderful? Look at those beautiful variegations in the leaves. I love variegated plants. Really nice yellow, light green and dark green. Lovely. So this is what we're going to be having as the centerpiece in the pot. And then I'll be under planting this plant with something else. And I'll show you that a little bit later. That's going to look beautiful. So first of all, let's get fixing the soil. There's the beautiful plant. Might as well put it in front here. You don't have to look at that horrible soil all the time. Right. Straight into the pot we go. With the soil. Oh. All over me, straight away. That was one bag. Perlite. Lots of that, because this plant, as I said, we will need some extra drainage work. So I'll mix that all good in. Oh, I do love the smell of this soil. I love the texture of it. Already loosened up a lot just by putting the perlite in and mixing it around. Now, let's just check the height already of this plant. Yeah, perfect. I have a little trick for you, and that is leave the plant in its pot until you've put the soil around and compacted it, but not too hard, just so that it keeps the shape as if you're building a sandcastle, but in reverse. So then you can pull the pot up and take the plant out of the pot and just put it back down in the hole. Perfect hole, perfect job, easy done. Here we go, soil time. Straight around there. That. Oh, all the way around. So nice to moist the soil, so I won't be watering the plant straight away, so I won't be stressing it out afterwards. It will just cope with this moisture and then Tomorrow, I can give it some more. Because I will be under planting this plant, I do need to make sure there's perlite in the top segment as well for those plants that need drainage and air and filtration. So that is just perfect. So now I just need to pull out the pot that it's in, just like that. I don't know if you can see up there, I hope so, but there's a hole here, my hand goes right down in it. Then I can just lift this plant out of its pot, nursery pot, oh, it's rock, root bound. I'd like to get some of those roots out of there like that, give it a good start to go straight down into the bottom of the pot. Why not while we're here? Stress it out a little bit more, but it's going to do well. It's going to be happy about having some of its roots released. 
and then boom, there we go. In the pot, put the soil back around close to it, press it down, and that part of the repotting is done. A beautiful Schefflera arboricola, variegated in its new pot, ready to just explode with growth. But before I'm finished, I have something that I want to underplant it with. Because this plant is variegated, I have another plant that is not, that has beautiful heart shaped dark green leaves, and it's going to look wonderful in here. So I'm just going to get that one. So I've showed you these plants before, Philodendron scandens. These are what I'm going to be planting around the bottom with their lovely heart-shaped leaves. They grow well also in a shady place. They like the same amount of moisture and drying out as the other plant that they're going to be with. And I think they're just going to spill over the edge of this pot and make it look wonderful lush and green all the way up and down. So what a beautiful contrast this will be together. Let's get planting. Now, this is the front, so I want the ones with the longest pieces to be at the front here. This one here is a lovely long piece. It's only in a little tiny, tiny, tiny pot, so easy to get out and plant. Well, maybe not easy to get out, but easy to plant. It's pretty pot pound actually. Let's pull some of those roots out as I do this, even though they're small roots, they are. A little bit pot bound. So this is going to go in here. I'm going to plant it quite far back to give the vines a chance, any that hit the soil, to actually spread and grow by themselves and spread out the plant. So that's absolutely wonderful, just under those leaves. Now, even though it's nice with these leaves at the bottom of this Schefflera arboricola, I think I'm going to cut them off because then you'll be able to see the philodendron scandens much better. And as I'm using two different plants to give an effect, I want to see them. So we'll just cut these lowest leaves off this plant. And this will probably only encourage it to grow out more at the top anyway. So it's going to be probably really good. Yeah. I don't have to take all the way down. Like those two can stay there just to give a little bit of cover. But there, you can see what I mean. It's much better. Now we'll be able to see these little baby plants around the edge as well. They're pretty root bound. So I pull those roots out a little bit just to help the plant get into the bottom of the pot easier. We'll do that here. Just help them a little bit. too bad because they're only babies and then again place this one in closer to the back make a little hole roots directly in press it and then that's it fill back with soil and this plant will do the rest it will spread out all around the bottom here everywhere it touches soil it's going to set out its runners and spread the plant out it's going to be absolutely wonderful so you can help this one already by placing it on the soil so that you know that you're going to get runners, you know, doing their job of spreading very quickly. So there was four, so that means I can put one on each quarter and let them spread out. Because it's taken from a tweak cutting grows long and thin and stop that when it gets to the height that you want it to grow cut off the top and propagate that top you can put that in water you can put it in soil and it will grow in the right circumstances I've done that before so you can propagate that or you can just chop it off and put them in around where this one is so that you get a thicker fuller plant and that's what I'm thinking I'm going to do at some point chop off the top um, any pieces that I don't want and put them around the edge so that we can get a bushier effect out and more branches growing up. So, in a moment, I will show you the finished touch. Obviously, I can't carry this pot because it's too heavy, so I'll do a little bit of tidying up and then I'll show you how this pot looks. And there you have it, my beautiful Schefflera arboricola. 
the variegated type and philodendron scandents at the bottom that will bush out down here and trail over the edge of this pot and make it look absolutely wonderful. And this is on the other side of our living room. Um, this area also will be filled up with different plants and hanging vine around the top of the wall with thyme. So thank you for watching this Gardening Crystals episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure that you subscribe and if you have any questions or comments, please write them below. I love to interact with you. And I hope this was fun and informative and you enjoyed seeing how to combine different plants together so that you can get more into your space. That's one of the important things about this. Plus the aesthetic side of it, it just looks beautiful. So thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.